The CW Twin Cities Beat, brought to you by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. Hello and welcome to the CW Twin Cities Beat, where we take a look at where to make the most of your weekend, powered by Star Tribune. So now that summer is in full swing, we are going to take a look at where you can have it all. That's right, great beaches, fantastic restaurants, and lots of fun activities for those with or without kids. And of course, you have to add in the great people watching. Always have to add in people watching. Of course, we are talking about Lake Calhoun, and Star Tribune's Tom Horgan takes us to Uptown to check it out. Stop by Lake Calhoun in Uptown this summer, and it's packed every day of the week. I don't think you can beat it in terms of the, the Twin Cities area. But why is this the place to hang out? There's tons of stuff to do here. You can bike around the lake, you can sit on one of the beaches, or grab a boat and get in the water. There's some here pretty much every day if it's nice out. It's always fun. You get to go to all the other different lakes that are connected. Whoa! The views are amazing, no matter what you choose to look at. You get to look at the lake and you get to people watch. And all the paths and everything, it's perfect. After you work up an appetite, check out Tin Fish, the lake's popular seafood restaurant. I love it. I, I like that there's a restaurant here instead of just the boathouse that serves the usual hot dogs. Go for the Tin Fish tacos or check out one of the great seafood platters. The place to be. <laughs> this summer, I think I want to be a Calhoun Beach Bum. Now, if you're looking for a hassle free way to cruise the lakes, just stop by Wheel Fun Rentals located next to Tin Fish. You can check out the ride that you want. They've got kayaks, paddle boats, I think they have canoes, and even mountain bikes. So. Yeah, it's definitely a scenic way to get around the lakes. And not only that, you're also getting a great workout. I totally agree. And anytime you can make a workout fun, you got to do it. Yeah, workout fun. Not <laughs> quite sure about that. But up next, we'll visit a St. Paul restaurant that's been a local favorite for over 30 years. But first, this message from Papa John's. Papa's in the house. Papa John's announces two great classics. The meats with five real meats or the Tuscan six cheese with six different cheeses. Your choice, only $10.99. Five meats or six cheeses, only $10.99 for a large. Welcome back to the CW Twin Cities Beat. Now up next, Star Tribune's Tom Horgan checks out a St. Paul eatery that's known for a lot more than its turn of the century architecture. I think you're talking about the outdoor patio, which I love to frequent. I am, and yes, I know you do. Let's take a look. <laughs> As the summer heats up, so does competition for outdoor patios. One of the hottest is here at W.A. Frost in St. Paul's Cathedral Hill. Now this restaurant might be old school, but its outdoor space is a stunner. I mean, I consistently think that W.A. Frost has probably the nicest patio in all the Twin Cities. Actually, we're coming from Minneapolis, so just to hang out here for the day. It's nice to look at and socialize. There's a fountain, a fire pit, and tons of foliage. So there's a lot of cover from the sun, and it's just a real nice place to sit all the garden and flowers are really nice as well. You know, you kind of feel like you're in a s smaller area of the city, but it's still very chic and urban and fun. I'd have to say the newly expanded garden bar and lounge is one of the coziest patios around. I really like the furniture that they've added with the, the padding. You don't see that a lot of places in the Twin Cities. It's always crowded, always fun. And here's some really great news. For the first time in 20 years, they've brought back happy hour. $4 to like drinks, $5 to like appetizers, and it's seven days a week. Seriously, does it get any better than this? No, Tom, I don't think it does. <laughs> and with the addition of a happy hour, I have a feeling that Natalie will be frequenting that patio even more. You are correct. And with that award-winning wine list, it's considered to be among the best in the Midwest. It's the perfect setting to sit back, sip, and enjoy one of the hundreds of selections that they have available. That's right. Now, looking ahead this weekend, there's definitely a lot to take pride in, like the Uptown Pride Block Party that's this Friday. It's free and it features great music, MC Foxy Tan, and the North Star Roller Girls. The Ashley Rooks GLBT Pride Parade gets rolling this Sunday at 11 a.m. along Hennepin Avenue in downtown Minneapolis. Or if you want a great excuse to throw back some suds, like you need one, check out the St. Paul Summer Beer Fest this Sunday. More than 40 breweries will be on hand. For more information about these events and other great ways to spend your weekend, just go to startribune.com slash entertainment and check out the vitamin calendar. Tune in Thursday nights at 1030 for a look at the weekend ahead. Thanks for watching the CW Twin Cities. Beat. The CW Twin Cities Beat, brought to you by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. Papa's in the house. Papa John's announces two great classics. The meats with five real meats or the Tuscan six cheese with six different cheeses. Your choice, only $10.99. Five meats or six cheeses, only $10.99 for a large. <laughs> 